it's Terry in another edition of an Orchid a Day. Today I'm going to continue on with what I was talking about yesterday, which was uh, protecting your sheaths on your plants from the effects of the fall, the rains, and the temperatures in, in actuality, the temperatures. <clears throat> Another plant that I bought in is right here. And this plant is a survivor. This is my Cattleya chocolate drop crossed with Cattleya skinneri, which is probably a Guariente now. But it is another group of Cattleyas that is uh, uh, in the same class of family as Orontiaca, Guatemalensis. In fact, as I was doing research on Skinneri, because I have never grown Skinneri, um, I found out that besides it being the national flower of Costa Rica, which I believe I already knew, uh, I didn't realize that it was a natural hybrid, natural occurring hybrid between Orontiaca and Skinneri that makes up Guatemalensis. I really didn't know that. I thought Guatemalensis was a species, but it is a natural occurring hybrid. So they really all have the same growth habit. And being that this has Cattleya chocolate drop in it, that is uh, Cattleya gutata crossed with it's either Boranjana or Arantiaca, something like that. But it's another bifoliate. So these plants, and this one in particular, I've had difficulty with. As you can see, by these canes. Uh, what generally happens is the plant puts up new growth and then somehow or another the elements get to it. The rain get into the new growth, they blast or it doesn't progress all the way. Uh, the Both of these actually had formed sheets but because uh, they were, a, they remained outside in the in the late summer and the fall, they received rain, and the rain rotted out the newest growth. And this year, as it tried to grow, this is a growth that was this year's. You can see that it is black. Um, I believe this was this year's as well, one from here. And so. In my mind, those were the two growths that it produced this year, and they both rotted. Probably due to water, because we did have a lot of rain. Um, so I thought this plant was done, and so I left it sitting out there, thinking, you know, get as much rain as it can, you know, hopefully it'll get some nutrients, and then it'll do good next year, I'll do better. But lo and behold, it has put up one, two, three four new growths. So this plant is really trying to do something and so I had to bring this plant inside and so I'm going to water it very sparingly making sure that I don't get any in the new growths and making sure that I keep this area warm as the temperatures get cooler because it was cooler last night it's probably 50s right now it's gonna be like that for the next few days so which is great but some plants don't respond to it so well. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. And I think that's what you have to do because you will lose and I will lose. This is an example of these things that you have to do. You have to maintain the temperature and you have to make sure that it gets, the, it gets that wet, dry cycle. That's what it is, the wet, dry cycle. If it gets too much water, too much moisture, it will rot. So you've enjoyed that video oh and I will post a picture because this did bloom for me once um, and fingers crossed hopefully I will have better success with it next year because these flowers don't bloom until the spring 
But if you've enjoyed this video again, press the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone.